Today's video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. In today's video we'll be making Arcade 1-Up Polybius Cab Art. If you're unfamiliar with this arcade cabinet, don't be alarmed, as this cabinet is a fun bit of pop culture and urban legend, but nothing more. This cabinet does add some fun arcade history to our lives, and arcade 1-Up cabinets are a fun way to being this urban legend to life. If you'd like to learn more about Polybius, please check out the link above, or find the link in my description. Cinesloshin is the fake name of the fake company that was rumored to have originally partnered with the US government to exploit arcade games to conduct psychological experiments on US citizens. This urban legend states that a cabinet called Polybius hit the market in the early 80s, and users of the cabinet suffering from a host of side effects. With some players seeming addicted to the Polybius cabinets playing it for hours regardless of any side effects they felt. This story is in fact an urban legend and never happened, but Doc and his team at Rogue Synapse did take advantage of this story and got the rights to Cinesloshin.com. Doc is not only hosting a Polybius website for us all to enjoy, but he and his team have provided us with a working game and downloadable Polybius arcade graphics. You can visit Doc and his team at both Cinesloshin.com and RogueSynapse.com to enjoy any of the arcade cabinets that Doc has given life to. In fact, I've got to thank Doc and his team as they have not only given life to Polybius, but they have also given us the last Starfighter, Space Paranoid, and they've started a few other project prototypes. The idea for today's cab art is to base as much of my work on what is accepted as Polybius truth, or what could be considered Polybius pop fiction. If you go by the original black and white photo, then the unit must be vertical screened, with a single joystick, one button, and a coin door. As far as the color scheme we get nothing from the photo, and it doesn't look as if there is any art being used other than the marquee. And even the marquee is just a simple word, Polybius. I'm not really sure why Polybius Pop Fiction has picked the colors that are used in Polybius arcade cabinet builds, but I'll be using what seems to be popular as I want this arcade one up to be as recognizable as possible. I will however be adding more art than in the cabinet you can see in the original photo, as I wish to dress up my bezel, and make the sides stand out in such a way that you know the cabinet isn't a stock unit. If you've seen my other video about making cab art you'll know I'm kind of new at this, and have no idea what I'm doing. I found this Gen 1 Arcade 1UP template on Reddit. The template original is from Arcade Graphics, and I want to make sure I link to them in the description. Please be sure to check him out. I'll also put a link in the description to a Google Drive that you can download these and other arcade-related resources from, but please keep in mind anything you use, you use at your own risk, and I will not be held liable. I really like the photo editing software I'm using by the way. It's called GIMP, it's free as it is open source, and the community behind the program is awesome. You can find tons of GIMP-related guides on almost everything you'll want to do. If you find the need for a powerful photo editor then give GIMP a try. You can find a link to it in the description, and no GIMP did not pay me to say those nice things. Again, to keep with Polybius Pop Fiction, we'll be going simple with the art design, however we'll be using the color scheme that seems to be dominate in society's collective minds when thinking about this arcade unit. In addition to using this dominate color scheme I'm going to use a color effect known as gradient to take the blue and black color scheme I've taken from the marquee and give it some depth and change, as the gradient effect takes our blue and slowly blends it into the black, giving us a nice change from one color to the other. I'm then going to take three strips from the blue gradient effect, and I'll insert them into the solid black panel. I'll place each strip that I take from the blue gradient into the corresponding spot on the solid black panel so that the gradient effect carries over into the strips on the solid black panel. This will give us the ability to stand out a little, and not look like a standard cab, but let us keep to the simple design. For the kick plate I'm also not going to go super crazy, as the original photo that is supposedly of the real unit, has nothing on the front of the unit, but the coin mac and door. I'm also not going to try and find an image of the same style coin mac door. Instead I've found a coin mac image that has the correct forward facing angle, it's a very clear image with good resolution, and I think I'll be able to edit it to meet our needs. I do want something that looks nice, and I want something that makes our unit stand out, but still fits that simple design. 
Doc and his team have also provided us with some city of Portland seals, and Portland is the city that this urban legend is from. Because of that, I want to have the 1981 city seals from Portland. I really think the seals add to the overall storyline. The images do look new, and because they should look like they're from over 30 years ago, I'm going to see if I can age them to look older. As far as making the marquee, well that was super easy. Really all I had to do is resize the Polybius logo that Doc and his team provided us. I did have to change the location of the name Cinesloshan under the logo in the marquee, but I believe that's everything that I did to make the Polybius logo fit the marquee area. I do want to point out that the man Polybius himself often stated that one should only report history that can be verified. I kind of love that the Polybius arcade cabinet history cannot be verified. I also feel it's important to note that the word Cinesloshan is not real. The word is described by a writer and better communicator than I, Brian Dunning, as not quite idiomatic German, meaning sense delete or sensory deprivation. Basically he's saying that it looks as if someone took to random German words and tried to combine them in a way that isn't how a German would do it at all. As I'm sure you figured out, I'm done with the cabinet artwork, but I figured I'd show you my thumbnail for this video too, and let you guys check out me making it. I also want to take a second and ask that you all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Doing that really helps the channel grow, and growing the channel is the key to bringing you more content like this. For the thumbnail I'm just going to say that they literally tell you to make it as clickbaitish as you can. Anyways enjoy the thumbnail, and I'll be back at the end of the video. Thank you for checking out today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. It really helps the channel grow.